I shouldn't have to be in here. I should be home taking care of my babies. While I was at work, I got a call from my boss telling me to hurry up and get home because my baby had quit breathing. I tried to hug and kiss all my babies real quick and I just told them I'll, I'll be right back. Trustee Schaefer has recently begun serving an 18 month prison sentence for permitting child abuse. But should she be the one behind bars? While she was at work, police say Schaefer's youngest daughter, Zay Lee, was violently shaken and critically injured by her boyfriend, who is also the child's father. I never, ever could imagine him ever hurting our daughter. Police say that the mother of the baby, Tressie Schaefer, knew that her child was injured and yet left the baby and her children in the care of Mr. Scott. As a parent, even asking other parents, or other mothers for that matter, would you leave your child alone with their father? And most of them were like, yeah, why not? Zay Lee survived the incident with long lasting injuries, including partial blindness and trouble breathing. The child's father, however, says these injuries came from a genetic disease. According to a police affidavit, he admitted to shaking his daughter, but he has now pleaded not guilty and is awaiting trial. I would never hurt none of my children. Like I have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old and that thoughts never came through my mind, no matter how frustrated I've been to hurt one of my children. My baby has quit breathing. What is your address, sir? I'm not for sure. I'm at my girlfriend's house with all the kids. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, I, she wakes up crying and I'm fixing to change her butt and she's poopy, and she's just laying there, and she's just her eyeballs on the back of her head. I was really scared, didn't know what to do exactly. Um, I was scared that the other children were going to freak out on me, and I wouldn't be able to control the situation, and I would lose my daughter. Her eyeballs are just straight, her lips are purple. Okay, how old is she? <laughs> she's only six months. That's all I could think about was that I was losing her because she was limp in my arms. This is a, a profound example of a criminal justice system gone awry. Had they taken the time, they would have found, for example, that at the time she was born, she had respiratory distress, had difficulty breathing, she had heart defects. The accusation blindly made and then the gauntlet of having them arrested is so incredibly unfair in a case like this. Really, it comes down to if you're a mother living in poverty in particular and anything happens to your kid, like it's, it's your fault that you weren't wealthier and you didn't have more resources. You have to be able to have the resources to be a stay-at-home mother and watch your children at all times and that's the only way you're safe. She was nice to us. She was loving, she was caring. My stepdad, he didn't do anything wrong. Like, kept on doing CPR mouth to mouth. It does hurt to even imagine that my children can be split up. I think you guys are going to the science museum on Saturday. Well, the teacher said it was only for child and parents. Okay. Yeah. I miss you. Miss you too. I love you. Love you. I just love him and I miss him so much. Love your babies and hold them close. Because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow.